Hello there, Libra. Welcome back. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of February 2023. Please like, share, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading with me, there is a link to my website in the description box under the video. This is going to be a general love and relationship reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Just keep an open mind. Remember, not all of the messages are going to be for every single person who watches. And like all tarot readings, they are timeless because we're working with energy. This could be something that happened in the past, something that's going on right now, or what's coming in for you over the next six months or so. So in your overall energy, Libra, we have the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal. Now, this is some sort of a temporary obstacle. Um, there's some sort of blockage here. Someone may literally have you blocked or you have somebody blocked. Um, but you might even be in your own way. Okay, we'll find out more in a bit here. Let's see what else is going on. Love and relationships for Libra, please. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Messages for their highest good, please, Spirit. All right, off the bottom, you have the Sun, Leo energy, joy, happiness, clarity, healing, the birth of something new. We have a Leo full moon today as I record this video for you. So that could be maybe... Once this energy dissipates, you'll be able to move past whatever barriers or blockages are in your way. And that's what full moon full moons are for, is to release that energy. It's the, the culmination of the last 28-day cycle, and now something new can begin. Then you've got the Herophit here, Taurus energy. The Knight of Cups. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Eight of Cups, more water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the Two of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there is a need for harmony and balance here. And your obstacle that is in the way is, I feel like someone has extremely high... Um, expectations of what a relationship should be or look like or someone is never going to uh, meet your high standards or someone's never going to fill the shoes of someone who you know might have been your person before um, someone is you know trying to have faith trying to believe in love but someone's ready to walk away. They've invested a lot of emotional energy into something, and they're, they're seeking something more. They're seeking a higher love here. And I feel like somebody's just walking away from this Knight of Cups energy, this person who is very flirty, dreamy, artistic, idealistic. Um, there is an offer of love here. There could be literally a wedding proposal that somebody could be walking away from because maybe it's not good enough. Maybe there's an unbalanced relationship and they're seeking a connection with some, someone that's more, more their type or more harmonious here. Somebody's seeking a ha more happiness. Someone's beliefs are too rigid here when it comes to love and relationships. They, they have unrealistic expectations of what their ideal person should be and somebody's getting fed up somebody I feel like somebody is always like looking for um, greener grass greener pastures someone's very optimistic though okay things are gonna get better let them go. You know, you know, you know your worth. You know what you have to offer. 
someone might be thinking about walking away from a marriage or a relationship with a younger water sign person. Looking for more balance. Someone's never happy with what they have. And that's that's their obstacle. It's like they're they're getting in their they're blocking their own blessings here. There's a, there's an opportunity for real happiness here and joy and uh They just don't see it, but they're going to see it because the sun is here, and the sun is the best card. Um, someone might be afraid to propose to you because they're afraid that you might walk away because they know that they'll never be able to fill the shoes of whoever came before them, um, especially for those of you who may have lost a spouse. Um, you may be widowed or divorced. Or if someone feels like they lost the love of their life. And that might be their fear holding them back. But I feel like somebody's going to say yes. Okay. They see you as an equal partner here. Let's grab another deck. Let's clarify these majors for you. We'll clarify the majors. Why is this gate here? A barrier keeps you from your goal. What is this obstacle, Spirit, for Libra? Six of Wands, yeah. So now there's going to be a breakthrough here. There's, you know... Finally, someone's going to be um, opening up the lines of communication. I feel like someone is looking for attention. They're very good looking, very dreamy. They're used to getting a lot of attention. And this person might actually be a bit conceited. Bit of a snob. I um, think they're too good for somebody. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. Um, some Leos can be like that because, you know, they're, they're very high maintenance. They do like a lot of attention. Um, and then you could also be dealing with a Taurus, and they can be very stubborn and set in their ways. They are a fixed sign. So, and so is Leo. Why is the sun here? Ten of Cups, this is wish fulfillment, happiness, joy with a soulmate, the blessings of home and family, emotional completion and fulfillment, absolute happiness. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So somebody is feeling really happy here. That's in your overall energy. I mean, there is happiness here. But again, somebody is like, they got some obstacles to overcome. This is coming back from a battle victoriously. Whatever is for you will never pass you by. What you seek, seeks you. Clarify this Herofa. Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who is very independent, not codependent here. Somebody may be torn between being single and being in a committed relationship. Okay, someone is very is emotionally and financially independent. Somebody may be trying to force their their ideas or beliefs onto somebody here. Somebody wants to do things the, the old-fashioned way, and then there's somebody else who's more of a free thinker here. Somebody is strong, strong really good self-esteem, though. Somebody is learning how to stand up for themselves and have faith, and but against, we might be wanting to be single. 
there could be a married person here thinking about walking away because they're in a very unhappy situation. Their partner doesn't pay any attention to them. There's a lot of like just stubbornness and obstinance here. Somebody might be out here flirting with other people behind their partner's back. And somebody's just, just like fed up and ready to walk away. They're tired of it. Somebody, somebody is wanting their freedom. Somebody might be afraid of commitment here. They like their freedom. They're happy. But now they're thinking maybe, maybe they want a partner because you do have this card. You've got the sun. You've got the Hierophant here. So again, it's a general reading. There's different messages here for different people. On the bottom of the clarifying deck is the Three of Swords here. So there's somebody that's been that's healing from past heartbreak, loss, grief, and disappointment. Somebody can't let go of the past. And that might be their their blockage to happiness here. They need to learn to be happy with what they have and enjoy the blessings that they have and stop wanting what other people have. Again, the grass is not always greener on the other side. You don't know. It's like that that you know lawn might be covered with with uh, green uh, with brown dog crap or something. <laughs> Okay. Somebody could be again, they're not they're very unhappy in their relationship or marriage and they they're out here flirting with other people. Somebody sees it though. It's like you're not hiding anything. It's like your your partner's not stupid. They know what's going on and it's breaking their heart. Somebody's finally healed from past grief, loss, and disappointment, and now ready to be open to receiving greater love. Beautiful. Again, it's, it's a general reading here. All right, let's grab some advice. So I think things are going to get a lot better for you here. You've got the sun here, which is the best card you can get in a tarot reading. Um, but you're learning to walk away from people who aren't willing to love you the way that you deserve to be loved. You're not going to play with that. You want an equal, balanced partnership with mutual feelings of love, respect, loyalty, companionship and compatibility. And Libra, you're all about balance. You don't like confrontation. You like peace. And you don't like anyone who comes in and disturbs your peace. Okay? All right, so your advice from spirit is this is innocence. Okay? Six is a number of healing and balance. Here she's got her little fishy friend ready to go off on some new adventure. Okay. Somebody's somebody's innocence was stripped. Um, and again, you could, you could be dealing with a Pisces here too. Um, but yeah, there needs to be healing and balance here. Um, children might be involved. Um, I see at least three children. Two may be twins or closer in age, and the other one um, is younger. Beautiful. Somebody, somebody's eyes are opened now. Um, their their in, their innocence has been taken away. Um, They've been through a lot of grief, heartbreak, loss, disappointment. This could be you, Libra. It's like, and you maybe wish for, you know, the days when you were single, carefree, when life was easier. Somebody's kind of in the sentimental type of energy.
All right, so your first love message is power. True power is liberating and transforming. So someone's learning how to stand up for themselves, take control of the situation, okay? Or for some, there may be some power struggles and ego, ego clashes here. This reading is very much like um, the Gemini reading. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you have a lot of Gemini in your chart, you may want to watch that reading too. Because there's a lot of the same messages here, even though I shuffled the heck out of these decks. And then you've got synchronicity and signs. Align to your desires. Notice signs and symbols for validation. I feel like somebody needs to be, you know, paying attention to red flags. Um, something may have started last autumn. Spirit, your guardian angels, your higher self, spirit guides are trying to show you something. There's messages in, in the um, earthly realm out in nature for you. Destiny point, which path will you take? Follow your soul dreams or stay in the comfort zone? Somebody's at a crossroads here. And it's like, it feels like it's destined, faded. Somebody needs to get out of their comfort zone and get out of their own way here. Get out here and discover, discover what you're looking for here. You'll find what you're looking for. And then you've got choice, a choice between two. Your heart already whispers the answer. Listen, we got a hoe and two bros here. Okay. Somebody needs to make a decision, but they already know what they want. They need to, you know, follow their heart. Okay. Again, there could be a third party situation going on for somebody here. Somebody needs to decide what they want because somebody's already got one foot out the door. All right. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.